hey guys welcome back to my channel your integration body in this session we're going to set up any point flex gateway in connected mode on aws linux ec2 instance i have divided this session into seven steps so we'll follow these steps one by one so in the first step we are going to set up aws linux ec2 instance to set up this instance we need to create an aws account so i have already created that so just log into AWS account, go to EC2 dashboard, click on instances running. Here under launch instances, just click on launch instance. Give the name of the instance. Instance. Scroll down. Select the OS image as Amazon Linux 2 which is free tier eligible instance type we just leave it as default which is t2.micro which is again free tier eligible now here we have to uh, create the key pair so that we can log in by putty to this uh, uh, ec2 instance just click on create a new key pair enter the name my key pair save the format as .ppk because we will be using putty to log into the ac2 instance create key pair so that this uh, the key pair which was created it has been downloaded to my downloads folder i go to my downloads folder so you see over here my key pair Network settings, uh, create a new security group, allow the SSH traffic from anywhere and I want to allow the HTTP traffic as well. So scroll down. Resto settings just remain as is and just click on the launch instance. You see over here our EC2 instance is getting launched. So in the meantime I'll just open putty to log into this EC2 instance. So we have just uh, created our first uh, completed our first step which was setting up of AWS Linux EC2 instance. Now sec second step is to connect to it. So to connect to it we just open putty and get the public IP address of this instance. under SSH, auth, credentials, private key for authentication, just browse through the PPK key, uh, PPK key that we just created a while back. Just click on open. Okay, just click on accept. We'll be using the uh, EC2 user to log into EC2 instance. So it will be authenticated via the the other uh, key pair which we just provided in putty okay you see over here our user is authenticated so we have completed first two steps we have set up the aws linux ec2 instance and we are able to connect to, to it as well using putty now third step is to create the connected app in the endpoint platform so just go to my AnyPoint platform to access management connected apps tap just select it uh, app on its own behalf 
give the name of the app as my connected app scroll down add scopes so we'll be adding three scopes over here read servers manage servers and view organization okay so same thing you will find in the uh, muse of documentation as well so if you go to this link configure a connected app include the following scopes read servers manage servers and view organization okay so just go back to the endpoint platform manage servers servers and then view organization click on next select the business group as Infosys what environments you want to uh, select like you have to uh, be selecting both design and sandbox so click on select add scopes So we review the permissions over here, view organization, manage servers and read servers. Click on save. Okay. So now we are done with the third step as well, which was create the connected app. Fourth step is to install the Flex Gateway. Okay. So now I go to the runtime manager. environment go to flex gateway click on add gateway click on Linux Amazon Linux 2 so here you will find the instructions how to install the flex gateway how to register it how to start it and how to verify that the gateway is running correctly okay so we'll start with the first step which is the installing of the uh, flex gateway so i have copied the commands over here i just copy them go to putty paste them over here Flex gateway is now getting installed. Okay, so the flex installation was completed successfully. Now uh, the next step is to register the flex gateway to register the flex gateway these are the commands we have so I'll just put in these values and then we'll execute it okay so we have to put in the client ID client ID is nothing but the connected app client ID I'll just go back to the connected app if you create it app so here I just copy the ID and paste it over here secret just copy the secret we have to put in the environment ID as well so I'll show you how to get the environment ID go to API manager from here we will get the environment id for our sandbox environment okay so just copy it and paste it here connected is, a, is equal to true will mean as is 
and then we will have to get our organization id so just to any point click on any any point platform Here is the organization ID. So just and below is output directory. Okay, on this just uh, keep this path as is, and then the name of flex gateway I have kept it my flex gateway. Just copy this, go to putty, paste it over here. Okay. See, uh, you're getting one error. Couldn't execute the register command successfully. Open user local share new so flex gateway conf dot t registration dot yaml. So permission denied. So we are getting the permission denied error over here because the user which we are using does not have the execute permissions on this path. Okay, so we'll just grant the permissions to our user using this command. See permissions have been granted. We'll just again run the register flex gateway command. Okay, so registration has been completed. Go to any point platform. Go to runtime manager. flex gateway you see it has appeared over here my flex gateway but the status is disconnected because we are yet to start our flex gateway so here we have installed the flex gateway register the flex gateway now we'll be going to step number six which is the starting the flex gateway okay so here is the command to start this flex gateway okay to verify if the flex gateway was started, we can execute this command. See, one loaded unit is listed. Okay, so one replica of this gateway is running. So I'll just go back over here to runtime manager, and now you will see that the flex gateway status is showing as connected. So we have completed all these six steps. We set up the AWS Linux EC2 instance. We connected to it. We created the connected app. We installed, registered, and started the Flex Gateway as well. Now we'll be just be adding the API and testing and securing them via Flex Gateway. Okay, so go to the API manager. Click on add new API. So you see over here, we will be selecting the runtime as Flex Gateway. This is the Flex Gateway which we just set up on the Linux EC2 instance. Click on next. Create a new API. My put the name as my Flex API asset type as HTTP API click on next uh, keep the implementation URL as uh, HTTP bin dot org uh, the base path has v1 api it will be an http call so port will be 80 okay so click on next we'll just review the settings all good save and deploy
so how do we call this implementation URI so for this we have this we have to use this format you see over here we have to first put in the host port base path and then resource host is the ec2 instance in which we installed and set up the uh, flex gateway okay so just refresh my ec2 instances so this was the ec2 instance which we set up copy that ip address public ip address port was 80 path we set up as v1 api and resources get you see we can see that the request is getting routed to http bin dot org get api from the flex a gateway which we deploy on the aws ec2 instance okay so now uh, we can uh, have some basic authentication setup as well uh, on our uh, downstream api so for to set uh, so uh, to set that up uh, you can just go to policies add policy okay so we can just select a basic Uh, give the username as mule password as max Don't apply so now we will have secured our downstream API using a basic authentication you see if I refresh this page now it's asking for username and password just put mule and max So now I'm able to access our downstream API. Okay. So that's pretty much guys for this session. So I'll just uh, summarize what we learned in this session. Uh, we learned how to set up a flex gateway in connected mode on Amazon Linux EC2 instance. For this, we first set up the Amazon EC, uh, Linux EC2 instance and then we installed and registered and started the flex gateway on it and then we added an api and we tested and secured it as well okay using the anypan flex gateway i hope you find this session useful guys and uh, do like my video and keep on subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the upcoming videos thank you so much